Hi, my name's Justin Garnett. I like hot lottles a lot. A persistent idea that I hear from seasoned and uh, new hot lottleists alike is the idea that the hot lottle dart functions as a spring uh, and pushes itself away from the away from the hot lottle um, as in a sort of active launching motion. This is something which, uh, as I say, I hear a lot, um, and I took for granted um, in my early days of hot lottling. However, this is something which you can very, um, very quickly test. So what we're going to do is um, put our preconceived notions aside and go ahead and test this idea. This is a very simple um, experiment, uh, which I will now outline for you. Here I have an allotl dart. This is a replica of a Basket Maker 2 allotl dart. It is made of willow and is about five and a half feet long. I'm able to throw a dart of this nature about 70 yards most of the time. Um, so one would expect that uh, if it is gaining much percentage of its uh, of its energy from um, a spring spring effect, we should be able to get it to demonstrate this um, relatively easily. The simple way to do this would be to take take the dart, stand it against the ground, press against it until it flexes about as much as it would flex um, in the throw, and then release it. If a large percentage of its energy is coming from the compression of the um, of the shaft acting as a spring, releasing it will allow it to launch or um, resonate strongly against the ground. So let's go ahead and give this a try. That is about maximal compression, and I'm going to release less than impressive. But as a good student of science, I know that in order for an experiment to uh, give us good results, it has to be uh, replicable. I have to be able to perform that experiment again and see that we get the same results. So again, I have my same dart. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try again. But maybe there's just something about that dart. Maybe there's something about that one dart, something aberrant, something which prevents it from behaving the way that other darts should. Uh, and launching itself uh, forcefully up off my block. So we'll go ahead and try that with another dart and see if that will helps. While we weren't able to get that allotl dart to jump with anywhere near the energy um, in our compression tests, which we just demonstrated um, with a simple throw, um, why might that be? Well, the reason for that is because allotl darts simply don't behave as springs. They do not compress and jump away from the allotl. Um, in fact, what happens is far simpler. They are simply propelled by the allotl, which functions as a lever. This extends the radius of the wrist giving greater leverage, um, which allows you to throw the darts much further and, um, and uh, more powerfully than you could, than you could by hand. Uh, there is little to no uh, energy stored in the allotl uh, shaft flexing. And even if it were, it wouldn't be useful to uh, forward motion for the allotl, as it would simply be reverberating um, in the air. So. The allotl and dart uh, function as a uh, as a lever, uh, and really that's it.